हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ कोमल वालदे फ्रॉम आर बी कॉलेज श्री रामपुर स्टूडेंट इन प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी डिस्कस द कंप्लीट चैप्टर ऑफ ह्यूमन हेल्थ एंड डिसीजेस ओके यू हैव टू लर्न अबाउट द कंप्लीट चैप्टर ह्यूमन हेल्थ एंड डिसीजेस फ्रॉम अवर प्रीवियस वीडियोज विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द आर कॉलेज वीडियो चैनल ओके सो दैट्स वाई यू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ऑफ अवर कॉलेज आर बी एन बी कॉलेज वीडियो लेक्चर्स एंड यू हैव टू कंप्लीट डाटा एंड कंप्लीट वीडियोज ऑफ ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स एंड ऑल द चैप्टर्स ऑफ ईच सब्जेक्ट बट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक फ्रॉम चैप्टर ह्यूमन हेल्थ एंड डिसीजेज द टॉपिक इज common diseases in human this video is for the ct exam and for the neet exam so student we are not going to the details about that chapter we discuss in shortly as well as we discuss about the tricks how to remember the topic and its type etc as well as we we discuss the treats about the questions which are the questions are asked during the exam of neet exam or cet okay so let we start the topic common diseases in human so student first i am telling you the trick all the diseases learn the trick is very simple the trick is tpcm afri means tpcm afri that is the t for the typhoid p for the pneumonia c for the common disease or common cold m for the malaria first a for the ambiosis second a for the ascariasis and f is for the filariasis and last one ri for the ring worm okay so what is the disease it's very simple what is the disease everyone know about the disease disease means disturb our easy life the word is disease dis plus is means the condition which disturb the our easy life that is the disease again the disease causing animals are called as the pathogen the disease which enter or introduce in the body that reason or the we can say that the pathogens it is the pathogens in which the disease are enter into the human body these disease causing animals called as a pathogen so which are the pathogens are induce the disease they are viruses we know that bacteria protozoan fungi platyhelminthes ascalmanthes etc these are the pathogens again the pathogens are should be able to gain entry into the host body the pathogens having capability to entry into the host body again withstand defense mechanism the pathogens withstand the defense mechanism of the host again it grow and multiply the pathogens are grow and multiply in the body of host and lastly they survive one host to the next host or we can say that it survive the passage for from one host to the another host this is the role of the pathogen now we are going to discuss shortly the different diseases which diseases common diseases in human first one is the typhoid and the trick how to learn that tpcm afri it is the very simple trick to learn all the diseases all the common diseases in human okay so tpcm so first t is for the typhoid typhoid is highly infectious disease and it is serious infectious disease which uh, infect the intestine which infect the 
इंटेस्टाइन एंड इट इज कॉज्ड बाय सेलमोनेला टाइफी इट इज द पैथोजन ऑफ डिसीज टाइफाइड ओके रिमेंबर स्टूडेंट इट इज द पैथोजन सेलमोनेला टाइफी विच इज पैथोजन ऑफ डिसीज टाइफाइड द सिम्टम्स रेगुलर सिम्टम्स ऑफ द डिसीज टाइफाइड इज फीवर हेड एक जॉइंट पेन बॉडी पेन अबडोमिनल पेन एज वेल एज लॉस ऑफ एपिटाइट अगेन द हाई फीवर ओके दीज आर कॉमन सिम्टम्स ऑफ द टाइफाइड एंड द मेन सिम्टम ऑफ द टाइफाइड इज रेड कलर्ड स्पॉट ऑन द ट्रंक ओके द अपीयरेंस ऑफ रेड कलर स्पॉट ऑन द ट्रंक ऑफ द बॉडी एंड द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द टाइफाइड इज बाय द वाइडल टेस्ट वाइडल टेस्ट इज द सेरोलॉजिकल कन्फर्मेटरी टेस्ट टू डिटेक्ट द टाइफाइड इज प्रेजेंट इन द बॉडी और नॉट सो स्टूडेंट इफ क्वेश्चन इज आस्क डिफरेंट टाइप्स ओके इन द नीट एग्जाम और इन द सी टी एग्जाम द क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्क द सेलमेनोला टाइफी इज कॉज विच डिसीज ओके सो डोंट कन्फ्यूज द सेलमेनोला टाइफी इज कॉज टाइफाइड और द टाइफाइड डिसीज इज कॉज बाय विच पैथोजन इफ क्वेश्चन इज टर्न द टाइफाइड डिसीज इज कॉज बाय वी बाय विच पैथोजन सो आंसर इज द सेलमोनेला टाइफी ओके प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट द नेक्स्ट डिसीज इज न्यूमोनिया द नेक्स्ट डिसीज नेक्स्ट कॉमन डिसीज इज द न्यूमोनिया इन द एडल्ट द न्यूमोनिया डिसीज इज कॉज बाय द स्ट्रेप्टोकॉकस न्यूमोनिया दैट इज द पैथोजन अगेन रिमेंबर दैट दे आर टू पैथोजन विच कॉजिंग द डिसीज न्यूमोनिया फर्स्ट वन इज स्ट्रेप्टोकॉकस न्यूमोनिया एंड सेकेंड वन इज हिमोफिलस इन्फ्लुएंजा दीज बोथ पैथोजन्स आर both pathogens are from the disease pneumonia okay means the disease is occur due to the animal these are streptococcus pneumonia or hemophilus influenza the question is again turn if the question is in your exam the question will be the hemophilus influenza causes which disease then you have to tick the answer pneumonia okay so student you have to learn the disease name as well as its pathogen names okay then question will be is change its language or it is turns into two method three method you have to remember that the disease name pneumonia and its pathogen streptococcus pneumonia or the hemophilus influenza the symptoms of that disease is main symptom is fluid accumulation in the lungs means the fluid accumulation in bronchioles of the lungs again the means rate of breathing is higher the chest pain again high fever dry cough nasal discharge these are the common symptoms of the pneumonia in serious cases of the pneumonia there may be cyanosis sorry there may be cyanosis and the diagnosis for the pneumonia is it is detected by the chest x ray it is detected by the chest uh, chest x ray or uh, it may be the we can say that the scanning of the chest in which the fluid accumulation in lungs it can easily detected okay again the prevention we can say that the prevention of this pneumonia disease what don't contact to the infected person means if infected person is near to you the nasal discharge contaminated objects like utensil pen pencil etc or clothes also these are also the spreading means it is Uh, can spread the disease pneumonia okay so <coughs> tpcm the next disease is common cold common cold is very common disease we know that it it is very common in human being 
the pathogens or the disease causing animal is rhino virus and second one is the corona virus okay these both virus are <coughs> are causes the common cold the symptoms is very clear and very normal symptoms sore throat cough fever headache loss of appetite these are the common symptoms of the disease common cold again lack of appetite and the fever it may be 3 to 7 days means the fever is present 3 to 7 days if the question is ask like uh, rhino virus causing which disease then you have to write or sorry you have the tick the answer it causing the common cold don't be confused there are the four uh, option in your answer okay so you have to learn that common cold causing by the rhino uh, rhino virus and the corona virus again the pneumonia causing by the streptococcus pneumonia hemophilus influenza so student you have to learn the pathogens uh, disease with pathogens okay the next again the next uh, disease is malaria we know that malaria is mosquito borne disease and it is widespread disease which is caused by the plasmodium this plasmodium nematode is enter with the help of mosquito and the causes disease is malaria in previous video you have to uh, learn that the detail uh, detail cycle of the malaria as well as the plasmodium falciparum is main pathogen of the disease malaria okay the falci uh, plasmodium falciparum is main pathogen which causing the disease malaria as well as the female mosquito female mosquito which is blood sucker it is the blood sucking female mosquito and it is vector to spread the disease one person uh, to another person or it spread the disease in man again <coughs> the human infection occur with the female mosquito and it is spread from one place to, uh, one host to the next host the next disease is amoeba amoebiosis amoebiotic it is also known as amoebiotic dysentery the dysentery is very common contamination disease it is the it is caused by protozoa the amoebiosis is caused by the protozoan disease means it is also known as protozoan disease and it is caused by entamoeba histolytica means the <coughs> pathogen of the disease dysentery or pathogen of the disease amoebiosis or amoebiotic dysentery is what entamoeba histolytica so student if question is ask like uh, entamoeba histolytica is pathogenic animal or causing animal of which disease so don't be confused write the answer amoebiosis you have to learn amoebiosis entamoeba histolytica the common symptom of that disease is what the diarrhea with liquid stool the diarrhea with liquid stool again liver infection abdominal pain fever sweat and the weight loss these are common uh, common symptom of the dysentery or a common symptom of the amoebiosis the transmission of amoebiosis is mainly through the intake of the contaminated food as well as water also the bacterial dysentery is caused by the shigella and it is very common in india the bacterial dysentery is very common and the major cause of the bacterial dysentery is what shigella or the diarrheal disease and it is very common in india in which the mortality amongst to the young children means it occur in the young children the next common disease is after the amoebiosis there is ascariasis ascariasis the name clearly show that ascaris okay
ओके द अस्केरियासिस डिसीज इज कॉज्ड बाय द अस्केरिस ल्यूम्ब्रिकॉइडस इट इज द पैथोजन ओके अस्केरिस ल्यूम्ब्रिकॉइडस इट इज द पैथोजन ऑफ डिसीज अस्केरियासिस एंड दिस पैथोजन इज फाउंड इन द इंटेस्टाइन इन द ह्यूमन इंटेस्टाइन इट इज राउंड वॉर्म नियरली द लेंथ इज फोर्टी सेंटीमीटर एंड इट इज हैवी इन्फेक्शियस वॉर्म विच कॉजिंग द वोमिटिंग अगेन माल न्यूट्रिशन एंड इंटेस्टिनल ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इंटेस्टिनल पेन ओके एक्सेट्रा नेक्स्ट टू द अस्कैरियासिस फाइलेरियासिस और एलिफेंटिस द फाइलेरियासिस एंड एलिफेंट Uh, elephantis disease is caused by the pathogen wukeria the pathogen is wukeria as well as the mosquito uh, the mosquitoes are natural vector of the disease filariasis these two types of the mosquitoes which are female culex and female anopheles causes the disease filariasis okay and the last disease last common disease is ringworm before we going on the ringworm the symptoms of filariasis the name is it is also called as elephantiasis in which it leads to the edema it leads to the edema in which the legs it affect the legs arms genitalia uh, and the breast in which the excessive damage and obstruction of the lympho lymphatics these are the common symptoms or of elephantiasis and last one is the ringworm the pathogen of the ringworm is it, it is the skin disease the ringworm is skin disease which causes by the genera of microsporum genera in, including the means it is belonging to the genera microsporum and it is skin disease the excessive sweating of the body provide the moisture and growth of the fungus is carried out these are the common diseases the trick to learn the diseases is what tpcm afri typhoid pneumonia common cold malaria ambiosis ascariasis R for the ring war uh, sorry F for the filariasis and RI for the ring worm now students we discuss the questions how the questions are asked in neat exam or the CET exam okay student if in your exam the question will be the dengue fever is transmitted by blanks okay there are four option anopheles mosquito culex mosquito aedes mosquito and tick tick fly we know that the anopheles mosquito and culex mosquito are causing the disease filariasis we know that the both mosquito causing the disease filariasis means these are the not answer of question okay the third one is Aedes mosquito and next option is the tick tick fly. Again, we know that the tick tick fly causing the sleeping sickness. The tick tick fly causing the sleeping sickness means the answer of the dengue fever is transmitted by which pathogen? The answer is Aedes mosquito. Why it is not the Anopheles mosquito or Culex mosquito? Because these both mosquito carrying uh, means uh, cause the disease filariasis and the tick tick fly uh, tick tick fly causing the disease sleeping sickness okay the next question is which stage of the malaria parasite is responsible for the relapse very easy tricks is remember to the answer there is malaria m and relapse re means mr so answer is the mirozite okay you have to use this trick which stage of the malaria parasite is responsible for relapse the trick is mr and mr is present in the mirozite means malaria's me and relapse ro 
ओके द आंसर इज म्यूरोजाइट दीज सिंपल ट्रिक्स कैन यूज मीन्स दीज सिंपल ट्रिक्स इज यूज एंड आंसर इज द म्यूरोजाइट एंड अगेन आई रिपीट दैट we clearly know about the four option and why is not the first option or why is not the second option the answer is the c adis mosquito because these two are pathogens for the filariasis and the last one is tick tick fly is caused the sleeping sickness okay so student these are the simple tricks and shortly these common diseases are easily learn from this tricks and the video thank you